Okay, and Marty is knows that people are going to be offended by this by how he feels himself, right? And and Marty just wants to say that he's not going to let you bigots out there who, you know, don't want to acknowledge Marty's cisgender dysphoria. Okay. <sighs> Confusing times we live in. <laughs> Welcome to another Marty's Minute Meditations. I'm Marty, and this is our space, man. This is our space to feel uncomfortable, to face those uncomfortable truths about our lives these days, to face the questions that are inherent in being a man in this modern world. Maybe you want to feel like a man, like Marty, but you still don't feel like a man or you feel like you aren't allowed to feel like a man. Marty's gonna talk about that in this episode. But before Marty begins, Marty wants to remind you, like this video, subscribe to Marty's channel, hit that notification bell so you know when Marty releases new content. Also, if you enjoy Marty's Minute Meditations, don't forget to be a martyr for manhood. Support Marty through his Patreon page, his PayPal account, or his buy me a coffee account. All those links will be in the description. Marty does this all on his own, okay? So, you know, he needs as much help as he can to speak the truth of men these days. So step up, man, because, you know, this pesky algorithm, this pesky algorithm wants to put down the word of Marty and therefore the word of men. So where are you men, huh? Step up and be a martyr for manhood and help Marty. Are you stepping it up? Now, let's talk about this feeling of being a man. In Marty's last meditation, he discussed how our value and our masculinity, our manhood, is determined by what we do and how the outside world sees us, not by how we feel, right? To feel like a gender and then to be that gender. That's a wonderful, beautiful thing. You know, a woman gets to feel like a woman, and therefore they're a woman, right? A woman gets to feel like a man, and then they're a man. Um, a man gets to feel like a woman, and then they're a woman. Marty isn't going to combat that. Marty doesn't have any questions that's not absurd or ridiculous or kind of counterintuitive or 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 or, or, or it's not weird or, or or doesn't make any sense, right? That it's a wonderful, beautiful thing that he completely supports. So therefore, Marty wonders, why can't a man feel like a man and then be a man? You don't just get to be a man. You have to become a man. Oh, you feel like a man? Well, that's too bad because all ladies out here look at you and they say, you're not a real man. No, society has to look at a man and go, no, you have to earn your manhood. You're not a real man. You think you're a man, right? That's what we hear as men these days. You're not a man. A man wouldn't do this. A man wouldn't do that. Well, why is my manhood decided by what I do and not how I feel? Maybe Marty's feeling a little gender dysphoric these days. Now, Marty knows that a lot of you are going to say, you know, that's really offensive to those who actually feel it. Well, maybe Marty actually feels it. Maybe it's not, you know, gender dysphoria as it's described, right? Maybe it's cisgender dysphoria. Uh, Marty, what is cisgender dysphoria? That doesn't make any sense. No, it does make sense because Marty wants to feel the gender he was assigned at birth, but the world doesn't acknowledge that Marty is that gender, right? Maybe they look at Marty and they go, oh, you're not a real man. Well, Marty feels that way, and you not acknowledging my manhood and my feeling of being a man is really offensive and actually dangerous, okay? And Marty is very angered and upset by that. And Marty has a right to feel that way. Marty thinks it's just interesting that manhood is the only thing you don't get to, even women get to feel like a man and just be a man. And Marty's a little frustrated by that because why can't a man feel like a man and be a man? And maybe some of you out there are going, oh, Marty, that, that seems ridiculous. This cisgender dysphoria sounds a little silly. Well, maybe it's silly to you, but it's real to Marty. Marty feels it. Marty feels like a man and he knows he is a man. But when people say that, you know, Marty behaves a certain way that doesn't support his manhood, well, it really hurts him. Does Marty have to be a certain way in order to be a man? Hmm? You know, Marty's, Marty Marty believes that he's an alpha male, right, in, in a certain way, but not in, in his spirit and his soul. He's an alpha male, right? He doesn't have all the money. He doesn't have the fast cars. He doesn't have all the ladies hanging on his every word. He, he doesn't run a business. He doesn't adhere to the stereotypical, you know, societal views of, of being an alpha male. It seems that all these alpha males these days are entrepreneurs. They run their own business. Like, what business are you running? 
how many how many businesses do we really need these days? You know what I mean? Man, what are you making? What are you what are you what are you really giving to the world at this point? You know, Marty sees these men on the Instagrams and the Twitters and and all that stuff and they're like, "Oh, you know, you, how do you make $10,000 in a month?" And Marty clicks on that thread because, you know, he wants to know how to make $10,000 a month. And he reads the thread and he goes, I still don't get it. I still don't understand. So I need to start a business and I need to post on Twitter five times a day about my business. But when Marty reads about these businesses that these entrepreneurs put up, he's still confused about what kind of business you're running. It's on the internet, okay? And you're, you know, talking about, you know, websites or or or, or, or the internet or, you know, Marty's really confused. What are, what are you selling? What, what's your business? And Marty thinks that all these entrepreneurs and all these alpha males with their businesses are really confused about what they're selling. It almost seems like they're really unclear about it. Do we, I guess Marty's point is, do we really need that many businesses these days? Where's all this money coming from? I guess Marty is wondering, you know, where's all this money coming from? Why does a real man have to do in order to be a man and not feel like a real man? Why can't a man, you know, take a hot bath, listen to some Fiona Apple, light some candles, and feel like a man still in that bath, soaking? Is that a real man? soaking in that bath if he feels it? Is that a real man looking at those beautiful, you know, lavender candles? Is that a real man if he's listening with his real man ears to Fiona Apple's musings on life, on love, on loss? It's a big question. Marty's asking you that question. You men out there, do you feel like a real man? Or do you feel like you have to do? You have to perform? Because that's what it seems like, right? Men have to perform in order to be a man. Like the peacock. You know, how does a peacock feel like they're a real man. How do they know they're a real man cock? Strutting their feathers all around. Strutting their bodies all around. Do us men have to perform our ways, show our muscles? Or can we feel like a real man cock? Feels like us men are stuck in the evolutionary past. Maybe we need to talk to the peacock and be like, hey, you know, you don't need to perform anymore. You can feel like a real man cock. And no one's gonna question you. Are you a man cock man? Marty believes that you have the cock within you. You have the cock in yourself and you can show your cock to the world. You are a true man. Marty doesn't want you to doubt your cockhood. You know, the peacock doesn't have to go to the gym and pump up his feathers. He doesn't have to go online and build up his business. I don't see any peacocks that are doing you know, fitness, personal training, or coaching, right? Life coaching, anything like that. Helping people build their online business. He doesn't need to be an entrepreneur. I don't see any of that. No, a peacock just is. A peacock trusts in his manhood. He trusts in his mancock. He is a mancock, that peacock. And he just walks around and shows his feathers. We don't need to perform. If you feel like a man, then maybe you are. Marty wants to acknowledge that. Maybe you walk through your life going, I feel like a man. I know I am a man. I was born a man, and I feel like one. But why can't the world see me as a man? Why don't these ladies see me as a man? Maybe you have cisgender dysphoria, like Marty does. Well, it's their fault. It's not your fault. It's society's fault. And for those women out there, for those ladies out there who are listening in, who follow this line of thinking, you are brain soiled by the patriarchy. That's right. You're continuing on this patriarchy. You're actually the worst part of this patriarchy. That's right, Marty's gonna say it. Because the reason toxic men exist is because of the female gaze. You expect a certain behavior, a certain type of manhood out of men. And you point and go, that's a real man. That's a real man. And you know what decides those real man traits? You. And it's interesting because those traits that define a real man seem to be really toxic to Marty. I lift weights. You know, I'm a, I'm a bro. I, I, I do this. I do that. Oh, I didn't know that my manhood was defined by how you see a man. Some ladies will watch Marty's minute meditations and go, this isn't a real man. This, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. A lot of men go, this person's not a real man. So the world doesn't acknowledge that Marty's a real man. And Marty really wonders then what type of man is Marty. You know, what does it take to be a real man these days? Does Marty have to have kids? Does Marty have to go out to war? Does Marty have to go and lift a bunch of weights? Does he have to be an entrepreneur and start his own business? Because that's what all the men these days seem to be doing. <sighs> Marty feels a little anxious just talking about it because it really messes with Marty and Marty gets depressed. <sighs> you know, sometimes I feel like a real man, but the world tells me I'm not, so then I don't feel like a real man. 
Bernie's just so confused about how the world is in... <sighs> so Marty's a little bit confused about whether he's a man or not, right? Marty just feels like Marty. And is it so bad to feel like an individual these days? And maybe we shouldn't be defining ourselves through gender. Gender is such a question. And womanhood or, or manhood or non-genderhood is such a confusing thing that all of us are a little messed up, right? All of us are a little bit confused as to who we are and, and what we should be. Maybe it's a, lot, a little bit confusing because, you know, we're making such a big deal about it, right? Maybe Marty is confused because that's all he thinks about. Maybe that's why, right? And it's such an ungraspable concept that... Marty doesn't know. Marty doesn't know. R remember, Marty's here for the questions, not the answers. Marty can't give you answers, but he can give you the questions that matter in life. So men, Marty is here to tell you, if you feel like a real man, you are. You don't have to worry about how the outside world sees you. You don't have to worry about what the ladies say about what a real man is. And you especially don't have to listen to those alpha men who say what a man is. They're caught in their own delusion, caught in their own traps of manhood. A real man could cry. A real man can feel. A real man could, you know, lay in his hot bath, his hot Epsom salt bath, with the candles and the Fiona apple, and feel complete. Why can't a man just be a peacock with his feathers out? Not trying to start an online business, not trying to be an entrepreneur, not trying to be all muscular, not trying to be dominant. He can't just feel like a man. He can't just feel like a mancock. That being said, if you enjoyed this meditation, remember to support Marty through his Patreon account, his PayPal account, or his Buy Me a Coffee account. Anything that you can give is greatly appreciated and allows Marty to continue to give these important lessons to men out there. To help us save the sacred masculine, from our toxic modern world. Reach out to Marty right in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when Marty releases new content. Marty wants to take this moment to thank those who have supported Marty so far. Thank you for your contribution and your continuing support. It really fills Marty's heart. Marty loves you. Marty wants you to know that. So men, remember, maybe you feel like a real man and Marty's here to tell you that you are. Don't worry about what society and the government tell you. You are a real man if you feel that way. So thank you for joining Marty for this meditation. And until next time, I'll be here, waiting, ready to meditate.